Okay. <laughs> Morning YouTube. Um, it's been a little while since I made a video. Uh, it's uh, currently overcast out. We're not producing that much power. Um, but sort of getting a little bit concerned about the amount of heat this thing is uh, is producing. Um, it's within spec. It appears to be working okay. But, you know, there's nearly 60 degrees coming out of this thing. Um, 58.6 there. Look. Uh, 59.3 so yeah it's pretty warm uh really want to sort of bring that temperature down to try and make sure that this thing lasts um you know the expected lifespan and want it to last as long as possible so um what we're going to do is try and cool that thing down it's probably not ideal that it's attached to a piece of mdf uh, acting as an insulator so um what we're going to do is we're going to add a fan um i've seen people making 3d printed shrouds that that like blower fans that blow up underneath um we're not going to do that um what we're going to do is pop this thing off the wall put a 120 millimeter hole behind it uh, and we're going to draw the heat backwards and then up um and i'm really curious to see whether or not there's actually an efficiency improvement so what i'm going to do is we'll do the install uh, i'll wire the fan in just so i can switch it on and off um We'll check and see if that changes the output of the charger. Um, and if it does, or even if it doesn't, um, I'm going to wire in the fans so that the servo controller can kick them on and off, uh, depending on the, te the temperature of the uh, MPPT. Um, the reason I'm doing the doing that from the servo controller and not from the MPPT is that one, two, three, four, only two of these have got controllable load outputs on them. The other two do not. Um, what I could do is. I could independently control them or who gives a shit just run all the fans all at once you know like what's the harm so uh let's go and source some fans um i'm gonna wait until the sun's down to um pull these mppts off because i don't want uh this one particularly it's 170 volt open circuit so i don't really want to be playing with that and um you know if i've messed up isolating or something like that. i basically don't want to mess with it essentially so i'll wait till it's not producing any power and then we'll pop it off the wall uh and go from there the uh just while i was um planning to 61 shit 62 just while i was planning uh to how i'm going to shut this down uh the sun peaked its head out and um it's dropped off already but we had 5700 watts coming uh into this charger so um, real interesting, uh, there's a voltage sense on these things that you can see on VRM. Um, that, sorry, not voltage sense, temperature sense. Uh, and the temperature sense says 30 degrees. So if you're watching these um, using that temperature sense, that is the wrong temperature. Uh, temperature sense is um, what the servo controller shares with these based on what it thinks the battery's at. Um, so in this scenario, it's just a temperature probe which is floating around here somewhere so that is not the temperature of this um, so I was hoping to take the temperature out of the actual device itself uh, and use it to trigger the fans coming on um, so I've got MP, uh, MQTT enabled on the servo controller and I was just going to do some maths um, on whether or not you know if it's above 40 degrees turn the turn the fan on uh, that's not going to work um, so instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the output of this and say so once it's over 30 percent of this thing's output capabilities the fans just turn on and just run them the whole time what, what's the harm like um if the efficiency comes up by even one percent one percent of 5700 watts is a lot so you know it, it'll cover the cost of running the fan anyway um if there's a improvement in efficiency if there's not an improvement in efficiency then this is a waste of time so we'll find out soon enough so uh, this is the back of the board that the wiring and everything uh, for the MPPTs comes on. Um, the board was in place when I pulled all these cables and they've just been dragged with the snake. I peeled these sheets back. Um, I might do a bit of cable management in there before I uh, put this all together and lean this up a little bit. Anyway, um, this is where the 250 MPPT is. So the solar, uh, solar panels have already ramped down, the charging's finished for the day. Um, so, what have I got here? Uh, I think I can switch off the 250 volt array, uh, disconnect that wire, and I'm going to go straight through there with a 120 millimeter hole saw. 
I'll probably start the hole from the other side um, just to get an idea of where the body of the MPPT sits and uh, I'll start the hole from that side and then I'll come around to this side and, um, and re-hole saw from this side. Um, what I might do given the difficulty of this um, and the amount of cable management I'm going to do, we're only going to install two fans I think. So. Let me go and shut off my uh, solar arrays. I've got the, uh, the 250 is powered from the back. Uh, sorry, from the west-facing solar array. It's a, th I want to say four, four series, uh, three parallel. Where the 150 by 100 is on a 3s 4p. So the same number of solar panels, just um, string differently to bring the voltage down. And uh, the 250 obviously has a higher voltage to get. Uh, in the morning it's not facing opportunely into the sun, so the MPPT can start up because the voltage gets higher on that string. Anyway, let's get into it. Well, that's the prettiest thing in the world, but it works. Um, I've uh, been pretty careful to label everything. I've got to throw some conduit on that, but not the end of the world right now, is it? Am I blocking my microphone again? I have a tendency to do that. I really need to go and get that. I did find the handset, and then uh, I've misplaced the handset. So. Um, right, that should, you know what, just because, let's just make sure that they're all off, hey? Alrighty, um, so, so let's see, now, if we've got any power left here. Hey, why have we still got a hundred, oh, you know what, jeez, I'm glad I checked that. So, um, I added four more solar panels onto this. Yeah, Harry, there's another one, isn't there? There we go. Voltage is dropping. Um, so bear in mind that we've still got a voltage here because there's um, power in the capacitors. And they're gone. Cool. Uh, that should be safe for me to disconnect those two wires. Now what I will do is mark one of them as the positive um, so that I inevitably get it wrong like I do every single time. Oh, I'm sure I will. Um, all right, so solar wires pulled out of the way. Got a mate on the back there. He was was holding the cables. He's over here now. Um, I've gone halfway through. I'm going to go the other side now and come back the other way. So there is nothing on this side that's in the way. I've got uh, video cameras in the shed. So if there's anything catastrophically catching on fire, we can all have a laugh about it after the fact. All right, there we go. So they're the fins on the back of the uh, MPPT. I'll go grab those uh, 120 mil fans. One screw there, one screw there. I won't bother trying to get one in the bottom here. It's not moving a huge volume. Um, what it's going to do is it's going to draw air through the fan fins. Sorry, the, the heat sink fins. Air will enter through the top and through the bottom. It'll get dragged out into this cavity and it'll be allowed to go up. Uh, that should drop the, uh, drop the temperature of the MPPT and hopefully improve their uh, efficiency. Let's see how it goes. We're going to, um, we've decided since we've got the wall sheet off, let's, we're just going to drill the other hole straight away. So uh, we'll pass this solar cable back through, get this one wide back up, move to the next one, which will be about there. Um, and we'll get all of the holes drilled all in once and then we'll deal with the, uh, with powering the fans after the fact. Yeah, it should be good. Should be good? Yeah, it should be good. Right, so I'm going to go about there. You know what I could do is I could get the smaller um, hole saw. Nah. Nah, nah. don't want to do that. Nah, you're right. I, I was, as I was saying it, I realised the stupidity. I'll come the other side and just finish that off, eh? Jesus, that hole saw goes through quick, man. So, uh, that's the two big ones done. Um, since we're going to move other sheets, we'll do these other two another time. Oh, actually, you know what? We're not going to do the other two unless we know this actually makes a difference. Because what is the point? Um, these two both, this one's shy, like, what, three panels, four, pan four panels down on this one, right? So, um... If I want to expand this one by, like, let's say six panels to bring them up so they both can produce sort of 5,700 watts, um, 
they're going to get hot. Uh, these ones don't have a tendency to get that hot, so I'm not super worried about them right now. Um, I can do something about them later. Let's focus on these two. We'll uh, see if the fan actually makes a difference. Um, I still think the fan's worth doing, even if it doesn't make a difference, because it's going to bring the general temperature down and the equipment should last longer. Um, but given the fact these two don't actually get that hot because they're not that they don't have all their panels commissioned like this one's just used for testing only and that one's only got a handful of panels on it anyway uh, it's not critical right now so um, i'll get this mppd remounted and then we'll focus on getting the fans working on the back all right what do we get how are we going Very cool they're nice and quiet and the question is are they going to move enough air are they moving any air can you feel it i mean probably not because the back's blocked on both yeah, so we want them facing out that way too don't we dickhead <laughs> wasn't going to say nothing yeah he yeah, yeah. the air is coming this way yeah cool all right now yeah because we want to uh, we want them to suck through the fan all right let's go and put it in there we go cool not the fastest fans in the world but they don't need to be uh, moving some air not as much as i'd like to be honest, should I put them the wrong way over? Let's slow that down. Oh shit, they're, they're pushing air through. Oh well, let's see, let's see how that goes. They're pushing air through instead of sucking it. I would have preferred to um, to pull air out, but uh, eh, let's see how it goes. All right. Well, I eliminated one wire dangling out of the bottom of that MPPT across the ground, and introduced another one because that makes total sense. Um, right, so that wire was hanging down there, has now been ran in, it's now behind this distribution box here, which is good, these two don't do anything, that one does, so I'll come back and, um, I'll come back and label this and put all the, all the clickers in, uh, I want it labelled like this one, sort of, that's better, although I do want to get rid of this and put another arc in its place, but, um, power's back on to both of them, power's working, I turned that fan around because it was giving me the shits, um, and I can feel air getting sucked through here. So fans are just on directly. Uh, what I'll do tomorrow is um, we'll monitor the output from the 250, we'll let it get hot, uh, and then we'll enable the fans and see if suddenly it gets better. Um, like fingers crossed, but even if it doesn't, that's okay. But what I am gonna do is um, I'm gonna pull this wire over to the servo controller, probably fix up this rat's nest of um, USB cables and whatnot from all the shenanigans that I keep mucking around with. I'm going to use these relays here. We've already got this one which uh, fires the relay here for the, um, this turns the spar on and off. Um, spars, we're not using the spar at the moment, it keeps tripping this breaker out, I don't know why. Um, I'll use this other relay and when any of the MPPTs reach 30% uh, of their potential, um, I'll have the fans come on and just run until they don't. Um, so I'll show you how to do that in another video. Um, uh, well, actually, I'll show you how to do that tomorrow. So that's what we'll do, eh? I'll, uh, I'll be back in the morning and um, let these MPPTs get hot, and then we'll go from there. Cheers for watching.